Previously on Pokemon Horizons, the Rising Volt Tacklers arrive to Paldea to return Liko to her family, only to decide to continue with their journey. Liko's father recommends their group to speak with Brassius to learn more about Rayquaza, who turns out to have encountered Rayquaza in a forest where an Arbolova resides. Liko, Roy, and Molly investigate this and discover that the forest has been caught in a wildfire. Meanwhile, Roy discovers another ancient Pokeball, only to be wrapped around a Titan Arbolova, who appears to be the guardian of the forest. Now that they've calmed down this rampaging titan, what awaits for Liko and Roy? The answers to come begin now. EP Artiverse! This week, the Rising Folk Tacklers work with the Titan Arbolova to revive the forest that burnt down. After successfully doing so, Liko's pennant summons Terrapagos to meet with the Arbolova, only to show Liko a vision from his past and return the Pokemon back to its ancient Pokeball. With more mysteries to uncover, Liko Roy and Professor Freed investigate how this occurrence ties to their artifacts and what might lead for the team ahead. Now, the story begins with a boring start, only to gradually build itself to what turned out to be an exciting episode. We start with a brief gardening segment, which I'm relieved didn't spend a whole episode on that. But they do this to assist the Arboliva, who was upset about his forest receiving all the damage. But the gardening comes to a stop when the group realizes they need water, and are impressed by who they call to help them. Because it turns out that Ludo came to help, and he has a partner Pokemon. Quagsire, which apparently some of the group didn't know about. I was very impressed that they kept Lulo's partner hidden for so long, so it made for a welcoming surprise. Lulo and Quagsire manage to save the forest with its rain dance and are a healing abilities. This also calls upon... Terrapagos? Yeah, that threw me off too. There's a lot of story, death, and lore poured into this second half, where it turns out that Terrapagos, Rayquaza, and Arbolova all share a relationship with an ancient trainer and four other presumably Titan Pokemon. I'm definitely engaged to see where they take this storyline, and by approaching the Scarlet and Violet Titan concept into something worldwide makes for a clever story that has more potential, especially now that it's not limited to exclusively Paldea. Though this is a story written by Alex and based on the story by Ligo's grandmother, so we can't directly confirm if anything here is true or not. We'll just have to see. We also meet Liko's mother who approaches Captain Freed while investigating the pendant and the Pokeball. I'm going to guess to have a student and teacher relationship based on the dialogue, but you can correct me in the comics below if I'm wrong. But Liko's mother suggests for Freed to make way for the Galar region if they want to meet with Liko's grandmother and find more answers about the pendant, because apparently even her mother doesn't know. Anyway, I can't wait to see what they do in the Galar region since we didn't get to explore the region too much in Journeys. We also discover that Spinel was behind the radio silence between the Rising Voltacklers and has gathered footage and intel about what's going on. So Spinel's encounter with the group is going to be hype. Especially based on the preview for this summer. The animation is a lot better this week and I can tell by the move pulls used by the Pokemon, same with the expressive details from the characters through all the Pokemon. The music and sound design were great too, and I love how they expanded the Rising Volt Hacklers theme for when Lulo saved the forest. Same for when the group comes together in the end to continue with their adventure and the answers they seek. There's a lot of exciting things coming from Pokemon Horizons, and now that we have a better grasp of what's going on, it's only going to get more exhilarating from here. We give the future I choose a 9 out of 10, and we'll see you in two weeks.